Good afternoon, everyone. So I think the last conversation was described as juicy. I would describe our conversation as fertile. So uh, we had a great conversation, a lot of good energy uh, around uh, gardening in neighborhoods. Um, we had, a, sorry, my name is Jeremiah. I'm from uh, Gardening Matters. Uh, on our team, uh, our conversation, we had some other folks from, from We Can Grow, the uh, Northside Resident Council, the uh, Sustaining Community Twin Cities, and the Hennepin County Master Gardeners, and some other neighborhood folks from across the metropolitan area who are very much interested in making sure that we can have uh, gardening available to our, our folks in our, in our neighborhoods here. Uh, one of the things that we talked about that's really working is access to, you know, increasing access to seeds and tools and lending libraries and that kind of thing, as well as, as garden beds that uh, we're, we're kind of all networking together to make sure that we have that available uh, in, our, in our communities. Um, some of the challenges that we discussed uh, include uh, access to land. We, uh, some of us live in uh, uh, apartment buildings that don't have access to land or are very close to um, other, other buildings and so there's not a lot of space. And so we talked about that as being one of the challenges that, that we're coming up against. And the gaps that we discussed a little bit include uh, knowledge of how to cook and grow food. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm a younger guy, I'm not the, the youngest one in the room by any means, but uh, I, I grew up in a time when not everyone cooked. Uh, you know, my, my grandma knows how to cook, and my mom may know how to cook, but my, I, I'm, I'm still learning. So th there are many of us who are, n need to learn how to cook in, instead of taking that dollar and going someplace else, keeping that dollar in our pocket and in, in our, our families so that we, we can cook our own food. So we talked a little bit about folks needing to know that kind of knowledge. Uh, so kind of the visions for the future that we discussed um, include community cook nights. Uh, and what that looks like is uh, everyone saying, okay, it's Thursday night, you know, Cosby's not gonna be on, but we're gonna all get together and cook in our house and make sure that we're ready for the next couple of days so, and for our families. Or then also um, meal sharing, where on maybe Tuesday nights, I would cook for my household as well as four other households in my neighborhood and I would share those, those meals with them. Um, and then on those other nights, those other families would share their meals with us. Um, those are some of the, the, um, the visions that, we, that came up through um, our conversation. So thank you all. Mm -hmm.